Hi everyone, this is Frida and welcome to the Dental Radiology. Let's continue the intro oral radiography anatomy, practical imaging of the maxillary canine. And what we see in the PAPCO graph of the maxillary canine, the floor of the nasal fossa, the maxillary sinus and its floor, and the labrar fossa. Okay, let's see the facial view of the maxillary bone. The A dot line is showing the position of the floor of the nasal fossa. The B dot line is showing the position of the floor of the maxillary sinus. And the C is showing the depression of the lateral fossa. So let's talk about each landmark. The lateral fossa, the lateral fossa is also called the incisive fossa. It is a gentle depression on the maxillary bone. It is above and posterior near the apex of the lateral incisor. A practical projection it is seen as a diffuse radiocent region. Sometimes this region can be superimposed over the root of the lateral incisor, mimicking a practical lesion to rule out a pathological lesion such as a practical inflammatory lesion. Just look for an intact lamina dura surrounding the adjacent teeth. Also, the absence of the clinical symptoms. This will indicate the absence of practical disease. The maxillary sinus is one of the paranasal sinuses inside the body of the maxilla. In adults, the sinus floor usually extends from the distal of the canine to the posterior wall of the maxilla. On paraapical radiographs, we see the inferior border of the maxillary sinus as a thin layer of cortical bone. The lateral wall of the nasal floor is adjacent to the medial wall of the maxillary sinus. The A dot line is showing the floor of the nasal fossa, and the B dot line is showing the position of the floor of the maxillary sinus. On practical radiographs of the canine, the floor of the sinus and the nasal cavity are superimposed and seen crossing on each other forming an inverted Y in the area. This inverted Y can be a landmark for demonstrating the position of the prachorodograph from the maxilla. The nasal labial fold. The nasal labial fold is an oblique radiopac line on prachorodograph of the canine and permolar region. This radiopac line is because thick cheek tissue is superimposed on the teeth and the alveolar process as aging and creasing of the skin. The nasal labial fold starts getting deeper and the fold becomes more evident in the graphical radiograph. In patient, when they're odontalist, the few anatomic landmarks are demonstrated, the nasal labial fold will be useful in identifying the site of the maxilla on practical radiographs. So on this pre-apical radiograph, this radiopac line is from the nasal labial fold on this side of the patient. So this would be the distal of our pre-apical radiograph and this would be the mesial side of the pre-apical radiograph. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay in touch for our next videos and thank you for your support.